Big Show is one of the main reasons I got into wrestling, is, and he, I thought that he had such a cool character, and, like, he was so badass. Like, I was like, man, I, I want to do that one day. Marco, how do you feel about um, getting hired, obviously, by AEW? It, it happened, like, a few weeks ago. And then how does it feel to kind of, like, try to carve your name out for yourself on, like, something mainstream as TNT? Um, honestly, it's obviously a dream come true to me. Uh, I never thought, like, that I would have the opportunity to be where I am today. I had a lot of people telling me that I shouldn't have the opportunity to be where I am today. And I think that a lot of it comes from me being the size that I am and, I feel like I'm one of those guys that shows other people that no matter what your size, no matter what you have going for you, you can you can always achieve your dreams because I know that I had a lot of negative stuff going for me, but it's it's super cool that they took a chance on me and that they're allowing me to show what I can do on a national stage and on TNT, like TV. What? I'm going to be on TV. That's crazy. <laughs> That's cool. I'm going to be crazy. But, yeah, it's a – what was the second part of the question? Just how does it, <laughs> it just feel to be on TNT? And like, oh, yeah. Really? How does it feel to be on TNT? Yeah. Well, we haven't been on yet. Yeah. Oh, really? No. I'm just <laughs> no, actually, uh, but I think it's... Okay, so, like, I have this mindset, like, backstage, like, I'm freaking out. And, like, I'm like, oh, my gosh, why am I here? But then, like, you go out and you start performing and it's like, you're in your natural habitat. Like, wrestling is wrestling when it gets in the ring. I feel like, and that's something that helps me. So I am loving it, no matter what, good or bad. I'm still able to work for a great company. I'm on TV, so I'm loving it. I want to ask you about, I, so I flew in a plane today from like Amsterdam, well, from Scotland, but by Amsterdam, and this guy in the plane was like, so the wrestling thing, how's that going? And I was talking to him about wrestling, and I, one of the things I'd said was, you know, well, WWE had kind of been the big company for a long time, and this is the first real big shot at, you know, kind of competition, something else on, on national TV, that there's diversity, there's a lot of stuff going. Is there a pressure in that for you guys or for you? How do you feel about it? Um, that's a tough one. See, because I don't, I feel like I'm here to do a job and I'm going to do my job. I'm going to do what they ask me to do. And whether there's pressure there or not, I'm still here to do that, you know? Um, we're professionals, we're paid to be professionals, so we got to push through that pressure no matter the amount, no matter how tough it gets. You got to keep that face on, you know, and just keep pushing. So, I mean, I guess it, it does make me nervous. Um, but I believe I have full confidence in AEW. Just having, you know, Jungle Boy and Lich Thorson, you guys being a sort of gang, like, I mean, it's the most bizarre thing, but like in the best way. Like, how did it come about? Was it a natural thing that you guys come in together? Can you talk us through you going to sort of Jurassic Park and find Lich Thorson? <laughs> Originally, it, uh, it was actually supposed to be me and Jungle Boy, like just me and Jungle Boy. And then those two were already a team there and they were an incredible team. And I just so happened to be put with them. But, and it worked out. And I think that we have a super dynamic team because we have something that nobody's ever seen before. Uh, we have a walking dinosaur, a kid that lived in a jungle, and an actual kid. I mean, what? <laughs> I mean, what different can you get? I mean, how different can you get from that? The merchandise possibilities are endless. Oh man, we've already got hella ideas, tons of ideas. I think they're coming into into play soon. Hopefully, keep our fingers crossed. But with all the creativity you had when you're in. GCW and what you're going to be doing in AEW. Can you speak a little bit about the freedom you feel you have as a performer in this company? Uh, I haven't felt any pressure to be anybody but me. Um, they've given me all the freedom that I, I want and all the freedom that I need. I, uh, I get to go out there and show everybody who Marco Stunt is and not necessarily who they want Marco Stunt to be, but who I've made Marco Stunt to be. And I think that's an incredible place to be because it gives me so many more opportunities to to learn from what i'm doing and and what i could be doing and down the road it, it only goes up so you talked about like the, the the idea that like there was there was naysayers and doubters for you when you were growing up watching wrestling like who were the people that you looked to to kind of go well like that you know this this person's a lot of people say eddie guerrero or people like that like who for you was the kind of person who was like okay maybe i could do this 
Big Show. So you say that one more time? Yeah, Big Show. Could you uh, elaborate? Yeah. Um, I wanted to be seven foot tall. Let me, let me start. I loved seeing Big Show and Kane and Undertaker just throw guys around. That was my favorite. They could pick them up and just slam them, and, and I thought that was incredible. I was like, I want to do that one day. I want to be seven foot tall and choke slam people and step over the bottom rope. Well, let me tell you, I can't even step through the middle rope now. <laughs> so that didn't work out. But, uh, but no, they actually... And Big Show is one of the main reasons I got into wrestling, is, and he, I thought that he had such a cool character, and like he was so badass. Like I was like, man, I, I want to do that one day, but but it didn't end up that way. Two more guys. How did it feel just in general, um, seeing uh, the growth of AEW, and you just coming from the Indies and seeing a lot of your like cohorts kind of join with you, or you join them? Uh, how's that kind of feel just that aspect of because the camaraderie and that building to su such like a, a huge product that's going to be uh, aired to millions of people so you like asking like, can you can you like yeah. elaborate a little sure, bit like, I'm sorry I'm really dumb no you're fine <laughs> no you're fine the, I'm curious about like how does it feel to like see join you with, like oh, all your friends how does it and feel stuff? to have like people that yeah, I know around me just come up oh. and come up in the same you know company and all that gotcha stuff. man uh, I think Honestly, I think that made me feel more at home coming to AEWs because I already had friends here in the beginning. Uh, Jungle Boy, I, obviously Joey Janela was a big part of that, and MJF. Shh, we won't say that out loud. Uh, but uh, I had a bunch of friends coming in. I feel like I've made a bunch more now, so it definitely made it more homey and just being able to come to such a big stage with all those friends of mine and to be able to show what we all have on on such a large platform is is more than I could ask for you may, have, one, guys. You may have answered this already and I apologize I just walked in but do you ever think you would get to this point just considering you know the disadvantage you know you don't see guys your height on this platform like this yeah. did you ever think you would ever get to that point no never um I yeah when I was growing up I never believe that it was a possibility I wanted to obviously um but it wasn't until like a couple years ago that I like even after I started wrestling that I thought okay maybe I can do this um because I had a lot of people tell me that I couldn't and that I shouldn't because I actually had somebody tell me that I needed to stay in Mississippi for at least three or four years before branching out um I'm glad I didn't listen to that but uh no I never Never expected to be here, but I, I can tell you that I'm very happy to be here.